All right, hey everyone. Today we're doing kind of more of a chill video, sitting on the ground, and I have all of my perfumes laid out in front of me. I'm also gonna pop in a clip of how they were all arranged on my shelf. It was getting a little bit full for me. I just feel like not as inspired when I have this many perfumes. I almost don't reach for them as often. Maybe that sounds weird. I don't know, but I've had this urge to just like declutter like half of my perfumes. Even though I like all of the perfumes pretty much that I have here, I just feel like I don't love them all and wear them all as much as I should. And I kind of almost want to start again with like my favorites that I know I love and then kind of build from there and try different ones. And then if there's ones that I miss that I got rid of, I can always get them again, but I'm gonna be pretty ruthless today. So I don't wanna keep rambling, but if I get rid of perfumes that you've seen me talk about in videos, it doesn't mean I don't like them. It just means that I don't wear them enough. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I also have my main channel where I do just general beauty content and I vlog sometimes over there. I do a lot of hair content for wavy curly hair. <laughs> I literally don't even know where to start because I know I'm gonna get rid of a lot today. So first of all, one that you guys know I really, really like, Burberry Her. I think this smells divine. I think the bottle is so pretty. Um, but I have the Sol de Janeiro body spray in the pink bottle that smells basically exactly like this. It's a dupe. And I wear that one a lot more, not because it smells better, just because, I don't know, I reach for it more. And it's the type of thing that I go for when I want like, a body spray, a lighter scent, and I feel like I just don't wear this one that much. I feel like someone else will get better use out of it, and I want to try like more different scents, and I just feel like I don't want repetitive perfumes in my collection because what's the point, you know? I'm actually not talking about body sprays in this video though, just perfumes. I don't know, maybe I'll do a body spray declutter in the future, but I don't have that many body sprays because I just prefer perfume. But yeah, I think I'm going to be letting this one go because I just don't reach for it enough even though it smells so good. I think I'm gonna sell a lot of these on Mercari and then try to like use that money to get like new perfumes that I've been wanting to try. Okay, Linter D by Givenchy. This is so hard. I don't even wanna open this bottle and smell it because I know as soon as it hits my nose, I'm gonna wanna keep it. It smells so elegant. Honestly, I feel like this is one of those perfumes that if I get rid of it, I could see myself repurchasing it in the future, but I think I am gonna let it go because I might find something to replace it and it's not one that I reach for all the time. I feel like I can't keep things that I don't reach for. If you guys watch Alithia Marie from The Simple Chic Life, I love her videos. She's helped me be a little bit more ruthless because she'll be like, if I'm not wearing something, why would I keep it? Because I feel like they're just sitting here and not getting used and what's the point of that? But it smells so good. I absolutely think this is such an elegant feminine perfume. This was actually originally created for Audrey Hepburn like as her signature scent, but then they released it to the public and it's been reformulated since then. So it doesn't smell the same, but I, it still had that essence to it and that like classic, classy vibe. But yeah, I just don't reach for it enough. And I really want to focus on the perfumes that I wear a lot and that I really, really love. So I'm going to be letting this one go, I think. I can't talk this long though about every one that I'm getting rid of. Um, okay, so I was kind of on the fence about this one because I literally don't think I've ever worn it on my body or clothes, but I never reach for it and I feel like it gives off a similar vibe to some other perfumes I have. This is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. It is a celebrity perfume and I picked this up for like $10. So it was super, super cheap, but I just feel like I am not going to reach for it. It does smell really, really nice. Very feminine, a little bit sweet. It's soft, but it has this like warmth and this Hmm, it smells so good. But here's my thing. I don't think it's exactly the same, but I think it smells a little bit similar to Livia Bell. And I have the Dossier Dupe for Livia Bell. It literally smells identical to Livia Bell. And I think I prefer this one a little bit more because it's stronger. It's very potent and sweet. And even though I like that this is softer in a way, I feel like it's not gonna have as good projection or last as long because of that. So I kind of feel like I don't need both. And if I'm gonna get rid of one, it's gonna be the Sophia one. I just can't hold on to things I don't wear. 
But yeah, I'm going to keep this Gourmand Orange Blossom. And speaking of dossier, I'm going to get rid of this Aquatic Peony, which is a dupe for Aqua de Joya, I think. This smells so good. It's such a good, freshy summer scent. It has a little bit of like this minty uh, scent to it, but it also has a floral, like aquatic freshness. And it smells so good, but I literally never wear this one. I can't justify it. Every summer, I'm like, okay, I'm going to pick this up this summer and wear it, and then I don't wear it that summer. And it's a summery scent to me, so I just cannot justify keeping it. It just doesn't make sense to me. I have to let it go. I feel like I have so many perfumes in front of me, and they're like all spread out, so I'm going to set aside some of the ones that I want to keep. I'm definitely keeping Indigo Nest. Literally one of my favorite freaking perfumes. So unique. I'm going to keep Eau Solence, Spiker Lawn. I literally want to buy 10 backups of this because I don't want it to ever not be available. And even though it's one of those perfumes that I don't reach for a lot, it literally smells like the essence of what I want to be as a woman. It's so elegant and feminine. I can't with that perfume. It's like a masterpiece to my nose. I'm going to keep my good chemistry perfumes. I have a good chemistry cocoa blush. Such a good summery scent with like coconut, but not in like the typical generic, sweet, overly synthetic coconut. It's like mixed with these woody and like fruity notes that smell so good together. And then I also have a roller ball from Good Chemistry. This is like my favorite scent from them. It's the Queen Bee perfume. Literally one of my all-time favorite affordable perfumes. It smells so freaking good. Like sweet and syrupy and delicious. Speaking of that though, I have like this whole little container of travel sizes and roller balls and i'm actually going to be getting rid of some of these too because it's just unnecessary i feel like i didn't want to because what's the point they're so small but i feel like people could use them anyways and if i don't then what's the point in keeping them i have this little stella mccartney perfume that i can't sell because there's like barely anything left but i know i will never use those last few sprays i've talked about it randomly in like a bunch of different videos that I don't know what to do with this bottle because I will never use it and I don't want to throw it away. But I was just thinking today that I could totally give it to one of my nieces because they're always like, give me your perfume and your makeup that you don't want anymore because they love like stuff like that and it's going to use and they're having fun with it. And I always forget. So I think I'm going to give this to one of my nieces. It's a cute bottle and there's just a few sprays left in there. I have this Pacifica Island Vanilla perfume. I'm going to spray this one too actually because I want to remember that went into my nostrils weirdly this is why i hate spraying perfumes in the air okay i have a whole container of test strips i don't know why i haven't gotten them okay i think i am gonna let this one go though because it is a nice vanilla scent it's not necessarily summery even though it's called island vanilla it's just like a sweet vanilla scent but i haven't really worn it and i don't really see myself reaching for it i love that it's like a more natural brand with better ingredients but i already have some other perfumes like that and i also have another vanilla perfume that is kind of similar in a way the eau de toilette vanille from outremer this is you can get this at anthropology or like on amazon sorry for the loud traffic guys this smells really really good like baked goods it's sweet vanilla delicious really love this one for fall and winter but i'm gonna keep this and get rid of the island vanilla i feel like i can't really smell it that much to be honest I've smelled this in the past and I, I do really like it, but it's a little bit lighter on the strip right now and I'm not sure why that is because I haven't even had it that long. I already know this video is going to be like a bajillion years long, so bear with me. A perfume that I really, really like, you guys, and I get compliments on this one and it does smell really good, but I just feel like I don't wear it enough. Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. It's good. It smells really good. I mean, I guess I have made a dent in the bottle, but I don't know. I just want to make room in my collection to where I feel like I have other perfumes that I'll actually like use all my perfumes a lot and I don't know I feel like this one doesn't last quite as long as I'd like it to and I think that's one thing that I've realized that makes a huge difference for me is I've always thought in the past that if I really love the scent I'll just overspray but then I feel like it'll be too much right after I spray it so I think I'll just reapply but then I forget to reapply so I don't I don't know if if that's like starting to become a deal breaker for me, but I don't know. It depends how much I like the scent and as much as I do like this, it's not something I'm dying over, you know? So I think I'm gonna let that one go. Also this Daisy Oh So Fresh Twinkle. I got this because Kathleen Lights raved about it and I saw that there was like a bottle on Mercari that had a little bit left. This is it. But as much as it is a really nice scent, it's not one that I'm obsessed with. 
and I don't feel like it lasts very long. So again, that, that makes a difference for me. It smells really nice. It's basically a berry violet in the simplest terms. But yeah, I don't know if I'll even use up this bottle, so I might get rid of that one too. I am gonna keep though this Crystal Violet Musk perfume from KKW because I just purchased this new bottle because I saw that they were discontinuing it. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if it's still available somewhere, but I saw something like that, so I picked up another bottle even though I had one that had a little bit left in it. I think I might get rid of that one and keep this one. I'm not sure where that one is right now, but this is the new bottle. This actually doesn't have violet in it, it's lavender and musk and like it kind of smells like a lavender uh marshmallow candle i think stephanie letta is the one that said this smells like lavender marshmallows and i agree with her i love her channel by the way she's amazing britney spears prerogative this is a good one but i feel like again it just doesn't last the way i want it to it's not horrible like it's probably about the same as the midnight fantasy and it smells really good. Similar to Black Opium, maybe with a little bit more coffee. I wore this one, I think it was last fall, and I did like it, but I just don't know that I'll reach for it this fall. I kind of want to get Black Opium, or like one of the Black Opium flankers, because I feel like they'll last longer than this. I've never had an issue, really, with Black Opium staying power, and I do think it's a little bit of a more potent scent, so I might let this one go, too. Also... Viva La Juicy uh, Bodacious. I wore this on my vacation in Florida over Christmas because even though it was Christmas, I wanted like sort of a vacation-y perfume. It's basically like Viva La Juicy with a little bit of an added like coconut lime note, but it's not a very potent scent. I feel like I expected it to be stronger. It smells very similar to Viva La Juicy. I don't know. I like that it has that memory of the trip attached to it now, but I don't think I would go through this whole bottle. So maybe I'll decant like a sample size and just get rid of this because I don't see myself using that. I want to move a few more of these out of the way that I'm going to keep. Ariana Grande Cloud. I'm almost out of this bottle, so I'm going to use it up, obviously. I don't know if I'll repurchase because there are so many like versions of this type of scent now, but I do really like just this original cloud-like scent without the other added notes. So maybe I would repurchase, but probably not for a while, but I will keep this and use it. Keeping the Billie Eilish perfume, this smells freaking phenomenal in my opinion. If I can get the lid off. I know this isn't for everyone. Some people think it smells generic or like pink sugar. I have pink sugar right here. I'll be keeping this as well. I don't think it smells like pink sugar. It has a similar quality with that sweet vanilla, but Pink sugar is way more just like pure vanilla and sugar with like licorice in it. So it has this like intensity to the nose. This one, oh shoot. This one is softer and it, it's not as sugary to me. Like it really isn't. I get this sort of like aromatic note in here that I don't think everyone picks up. It's almost like something, I don't know what it is, like cardamom or maybe even like a hint of like eucalyptus. Something in there that gives it this like aromatic essential oil type quality let me know if you get that from this perfume i'm really curious to see if i'm the only one that really smells that but i don't think it smells like pink sugar but it is a sweet vanilla just with a little bit something extra to it and i love this one for the fall and winter it's so good i'm gonna let go of my flower bomb perfume i never thought i'd say this because i love flower bomb but this bottle's getting older i want to have like a new fresh bottle so i just feel like I don't really need this. Because of that, I don't really reach for it. I do have Flower Bomb EDT here, which is discontinued and has been for a long time. And if I reach for Flower Bomb, it's gonna be this one, nine times out of 10. And I also have a backup bottle of this because this is like probably my favorite perfume. I don't know if it's because it's discontinued that I say that, but I love it so much. I think it's so beautiful and it's like Flower Bomb, but it has a little bit of like a citric quality to it. With like a little kick of pink pepper, which makes it slightly more summery, but yet, it's still totally cold weather appropriate because it has that same warmth and that like warm floral scent to it. So I love this. Gonna get rid of the EDP version until I eventually get a fresh bottle, which I will because I love Flower Bomb, the EDP and the EDT, but this is just a little bit of an older bottle that I don't reach for. Then I have this little H&M Sunray perfume sitting in front of me. This is like a $5 bottle of perfume. So if you want like a musky, fruity kind of summery scent and you want to spend like pennies, this is perfect. It has decent lasting power. It's not one that I find myself reaching for a lot and if it was more expensive, I'd maybe sell it or something. But because it was so cheap, 
I don't even really see the point in letting it go because I can use it up over the next few years and I do reach for it every once in a while over the summertime. Guess Seductive Noir. This was such a popular perfume. It was like trending for a while because it's like very affordable and it does smell really good. It's supposed to be a dupe for Mongrelan and it is really, really nice. But to be honest, you guys, I only have so much room in my collection for nighttime perfumes because I don't go out that much at night. And I just feel like, is there really any point in having so many like nighttime perfumes? I don't know because I wouldn't wear this daytime, I don't think. It's a little bit darker even than Mongerlan. I think that's why it has like a sage note or something. It smells really good, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like the longevity maybe isn't that great. And I just feel like I can do without it. So I don't feel the need to keep it, even though I think it smells really, really, really good. I think it smells amazing, but I just don't feel like this pull toward it, which is odd because sometimes that happens with perfume where I think it smells really good, but I don't have like a pull or a connection to it. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I have this teeny little like sample baby of Tom Ford Black Orchid. It smells good, but it's very unique. Not something I think I would really want to wear on my body personally. I used to like it more, but I realized how like polarizing it can smell to people, which has kind of turned me off from it. I know that's sad because I do just, I, I mean, if I like something, I'm gonna wear it. But at the same time, if I feel like a lot of people don't like it around me, then I don't really find myself reaching for it. So I don't know, maybe someone else will wanna use that. I don't know. I'm gonna keep my little mini like that though of Alien because I wanna, Test this one out a little bit more. I feel like I haven't got the chance to wear it. I have this Good Chemistry Brainiac perfume, which is not my favorite ever. Forgot to mention it earlier with the other Good Chemistry perfumes, but it actually leaks from the top, so I have to have it standing upright at all times. And it does smell nice, but it's very simple. It's just like a clean, kind of unisex, citrusy, peppery scent. So I don't really reach for it a lot, but I do think it's a nice scent. But regardless, there's no point in trying to get rid of it because it leaks at the top. It has to always be stood upright like that. It wouldn't even survive transportation, I don't think. Um, what else do I want to let go of? There's not much else here. I feel like I'm not sure. Uh, this little Fancy by Jessica Simpson perfume, little mini, smells good. Very sweet and floral, but I never wear it and I don't think I'll wear it much this fall and winter. So I don't know, maybe I'll get rid of that too. Is there even a point in getting rid of like the little bottles? I don't know, but most of what I'm looking at here now I'm gonna keep, but I feel like I wanted to let go of more. That's kind of hard for me. Okay, Victoria's Secret Teas. I've hesitated to get rid of it because it was a gift from my brother a few years ago at Christmas. But I'm like, do I really need to keep a perfume that I'm not gonna wear because I just don't reach for it? It smells good, it really does, but I have so many perfumes and so many that I wear and I just don't know if it's worth it to keep one that I don't wear. So I might let go of this one too, even though it's kind of hard, but I don't wanna keep things just because of like sentimental reasons, unless it's like something really, really important to me. I don't know, I just feel like that's a little bit obsessive, I don't know. I think there is one more here I can let go of and then I'll keep everything else. It does make me feel a little bit skeptical though because that means I'll basically be getting rid of like all of my celebrity perfumes, which is sad. But I do have a couple here left and I do wanna get more. I wanna try out some different ones. So I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, this is Paris Hilton Dazzle. This is probably one of the better celebrity perfumes in my opinion. I think it smells really good and it lasts pretty well. It's like a sweet cherry scent. It smells pretty young, I would say. Like a cherry candy or a cherry gum, to be honest. But I just don't know, I, I don't really reach for it. So I don't know if I should keep it. I feel like I'm not letting go of as many as I wanted to, so I think I am gonna get rid of this one. It smells good though. That's so hard. Okay, what I have left here is of course my Amouage Sunshine Obsessed. One of the only perfumes I've been wearing lately. Smells so freaking good, it lasts forever. I literally washed a shirt and that perfume, I could still smell it on the shirt. Like that stuff is freaking insane. Dossier Oriental Vetiver, literally one of my favorite freshies of all time. I can't bear to let this go even though the lasting power sucks because it smells so good to me. Even though I haven't worn it as much as I wanted to this summer, it's also like winter appropriate. So I'm gonna keep that. Really excited to wear Replica Jazz Club this fall and winter. 
I feel like I didn't get the chance to wear it very much last year. It dries down so beautifully on the skin, even though it's a little bit, you know, intense from the bottle. Valentino Valentina Pink, one of my freaking favorite, like, sweet perfumes. I'm going to spray this one too just because I want to smell it for no reason. I know I love it. Oh my gosh. Strawberry, rose, jammy, sweet, slightly, like, musky, like a clean musky scent but syrupy at the same time. I don't know if that's possible, but that's what it smells like to me. Blackberry and Bay, a classic. You guys know how much I love this. This is probably like my most complimented scent by my husband. He always compliments me when I wear this. And it's funny because my new sister-in-law that just married my brother last weekend, I was doing her makeup for the wedding and she said this was her wedding day scent. So I thought that was awesome because it really does have this like air about it that is so versatile and you could wear it for so many different things. Like you could totally wear this on your wedding day, especially if you're like more of a minimalistic person and you don't like super strong things, but you could also wear it for like every day if you wanted to or literally whenever. Coco Noir by Chanel, a prized possession of mine, and I didn't get to wear it nearly as much as I wanted to last winter because I bought it at the end of the winter, like the replica one. Uh, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. If you like feminine or sweet perfumes and you have not smelled this, even if you don't, freaking smell this because it's so intoxicating, it's so incredible, everyone compliments it. Killian Princess, they just re packaged this i hope they didn't reformulate it because i love the scent of this unless they just made it to last longer because i wouldn't be mad at that it's now more expensive it's in the like a more original killian bottle <sighs> this perfume is so incredible it's one of my favorites i have other videos where i talk about it so i won't go in depth but i could talk about this perfume for so freaking long alt cherry smash number 12 another one i can't let myself get rid of this is probably now like the only cherry perfume I have in my collection. Skylar Coconut Cove. It smells so classy and elegant. Gucci Eau de Parfum 2, discontinued sadly, but this was my wedding day and honeymoon scent and I, I love it so much. It smells so good. So unique and hard to explain to be honest. Rue 21 Black. I literally only have this for memory's sake. I don't really wear it. I think that it kind of smells cheap now but I wore this so much when I was a teenager and there's so many memories tied to it that I wanted to get it just in case they ever like discontinue it or whatever. So I bought a bottle like last year and sometimes I'll just go up to it and smell it and maybe every once in a while I'll like wear it at home just for like the memories that are attached to it. Um, not saying I wouldn't wear it out, but it's just not one that I would reach for to wear out. Miami Glow by JLo. Classic summer scent, super clean and soapy. Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. This is the type of scent I want to wear out more, like for nights out. I want to wear this because I love the scent of this. I love the dry down. I feel like I don't wear it enough. And so I want to have like a few night out perfumes that I actually will see myself wearing. Sea Passion by Giorgio Armani. It's like a fruity, musky, like woody perfume. It's kind of hard to explain. I've always had a hard time explaining this one, but I think it smells really good very just like classy and simple nothing over the top not trying too hard a really good perfume um a perfume that i've had in my like declutter pile for a while i don't know if i've ever mentioned it in a video though is riri by rihanna i already have it in its box because i'm selling it this is a good one it just doesn't have the best lasting power and my husband doesn't like it so that kind of keeps me from reaching for it so yeah that's going along with those and then we have just the travel sizes left you guys and then we'll be done with this video i think i'm gonna let go of this little rollerball of pink sugar simply pink it's like a flanker to pink sugar it smells really good like a raspberry version of pink sugar so kind of like candy like but i honestly never wear it so i think i just prefer the regular pink sugar juliet has a gun not a perfume it's like that typical like glossy AU, Bath & Body Works Kaleidoscope. You know what I'm talking about, that skin-like, musky scent. If you've ever smelled anything like that, you probably know what I mean. Uh, I think I might give this one to my friend because she was wanting to smell this because I think she had a sample of Lilabo Another 13, which is kind of like this type of scent. And uh, she, I think, would enjoy this. So I think I'm gonna give that to her, I'll set that aside. If she doesn't want it, I'll figure out what else to do with it, but 
Then we have Commodity Velvet, which this perfume is very similar to Replica by The Fireplace. Uh, as soon as I smelled it, I knew it reminded me of something. Honestly, they're so similar, you guys. The only difference is I think that By the Fireplace is a little bit softer. And this uh, Commodity Velvet has like a rose note in it that's kind of intense. So even though I really, really like it, it almost smells a little bit smokier. And I really like the vanilla warmth and like slight sweetness of By the Fireplace. And I don't think I need both. So I'm going to keep By the Fireplace, which to be honest, I will probably eventually get a full bottle of that because I'm obsessed with it. I wore it so much last fall and winter and I got compliments on it. It's so good, it projects, it lasts, but I think I'm gonna let this one go because I don't need both. Inus Energy of the Sea, little travel of my Shiseido Zen that I sold last year already. Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Amorous Femme, another perfume that I've worn so much this summer. Everyone loves it. It's so elegant and classy and feminine. I'm gonna keep all of these. Also going to keep my little decant of Delina. Don't feel like I need a full bottle of Delina, but I do really love the smell. So for like special occasions, I like to keep that. I think I'm going to keep my little minis here uh, that I got from Sephora. They're tiny little roller balls. I have Nest Indian Jasmine. So delicious. And Versace Dylan Blue. Both of these smell really good, especially the Nest Indian Jasmine. It's so underrated. It literally is like sugared jasmine and berries, but like really sweet. So it doesn't smell like your typical floral. And I think that is it, you guys. But I will like do a little once over with my camera so you can see what I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping. Not too bad, honestly. So anyway, you guys, that's going to be it. That is my entire perfume collection declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was so long. Let me know what other perfume videos you want to see from me down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one.